Hi, and welcome to HUDKeen.com, your source for real virtual tours of HUD homes in and around the San Antonio and Houston area. I've been specializing in HUD homes since 1996, and in 2012 I started filming real virtual tours like the one you're about to watch. So connect with me by clicking on one of our social media links, or if you're watching this video on YouTube, click the subscribe button to be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here in Hockley, Texas. Hockley is located on the northwest side of Houston, out 290, and we are in the Stone Creek Ranch subdivision, a very beautiful new neighborhood of homes. There's a little lake when you pull in here. It's really nice, and it's not very far from Houston. We're standing in front of 16319 Denise Terrace Drive. That's 16319 Denise Terrace Drive. This is a big four bedroom, three and a half bath home. It has a two car garage. It's approximately 3,281 square feet and it was built in 2015. The home sits on a good sized lot. The lot is about 8,400 square feet and the home itself is almost $20,000 underneath the county appraisal. It's another great reason why a HUD home is something you should probably consider because usually they're one of the best priced homes in the neighborhood and this one is no exception. The exterior of this home is mostly brick. There is some hardy plank on the upper areas and around the soffit and fascia. It's actually in good condition. Could probably stand to be power washed here on the side. You can see how it looks like there might be some uh, mineral buildup from their sprinkler system. And it could also stand to have a little bit of landscaping done, but it has some nice um, plants up front. And exterior wise, it's not in bad condition. It's really close to Highway 290, which will get you in to Houston. And if you're heading out, it'll actually get you going out towards Austin. 290 is one of the corridors to get you to Austin. So we have a nice porch area here. Let's take a look at the backyard and then we'll look at the inside. Well, we step into the backyard off of a little dining area near the kitchen and you have a nice big high covered patio back here. It's a pretty average size residential lot. Most Regular residential lots are anywhere between about five and 7,000 square feet. So this one's actually a little bit larger. It's about an 8,000 square foot lot. And exterior wise is in good condition. It really doesn't need anything. You do have this little electrical junction box here in the backyard. And uh, that's a full view of the exterior. Lots of windows. Let me show you the inside. Well, as we step into the home, you'll notice it has a very high and open uh, kind of an entryway here. It does have engineered wood floors, which are nice. And then to the left here, we have a little office or a study. So you have these two doors with this very high ceiling office or study area. Most of the home is going to need touch up paint and it's going to need some flooring. So that's about all it on the interior. And for being almost $20,000 underneath the county appraisal, that's really, really minor stuff. So you have this office right up front when you walk in. Continuing in, we have a nice big formal dining room here with crown molding, and I really like the accent of that ceiling. I think that's really pretty. You have access into your kitchen there. You have the staircase that takes you upstairs. Before we go that way, we're gonna to turn to the right here, and this is where we have your two-car garage. Now, something interesting about this two-car garage is I'm gonna pan up, and I'm gonna show you how they, they have some neat storage up there. So it's a really neat storage area right above in the garage, so you don't have to actually put maybe some stuff that you don't want to put in the attic, you could actually put it there. Continuing in from the garage to the right here, we have a little coat, I'm um, sorry, your little laundry room. Your washer and dryer connections are here inside, which is nice. It does have ceramic tile on the floor. Right next to that, we have a little half bath, which is obviously a little vanity and a commode. This room will definitely need a fresh coat of paint. And then you probably want to paint this door or get some goof off or whatever, because there's some paint on there, but that's pretty minor. So continuing in, I'll take you upstairs in a second, but we're gonna continue in through the home and then we make our way over into your big combined family room, which is a fireplace, lots of windows. We have a little breakfast area here, the door that takes you out to your backyard. And then your big open kitchen that has a very unique granite countertop. I'll show you that. It's a very unique style of granite. So we have a nice big open kitchen concept, tons of countertop space, lots of cabinetry space. We have your walk-in pantry here, and then access into that formal dining right up front. It does have a gas range, which I think is nice. And the kitchen just kind of opens out into your family room, which I think is nice. It's nice for entertaining if you're watching a cooking show. Now, one thing I love is that, <clears throat> pardon me, the master bedroom is downstairs. So we have bedroom number one right here, your master bedroom and your master bath. This room will definitely need a fresh coat of paint and will need some flooring. Over in the master bath, you do have ceramic tile in the bathroom floor, which I think is nice. And then you have a separate, very large garden tub 
and a separate shower, which is nice. To the right here, we have a little linen closet, and then you also have a setup for dual vanities, which I think is very nice. I'll show you that. Uh, kind of a neat upgrade in this master bath. You do have all of these jets. We have your little water closet or your commode here, and then your master closet. So the master walk-in closet has a lot of space, and you also have in here a little built-in storage area. And we'll continue through the master bath, and I'll show you the dual vanity. So you have a little bit of higher vanity here, and then it tears down into that one there. So that's, that's nice. It's nice to have dual vanities in the master. And around the corner here, we have a little coat closet and a little storage closet underneath the staircase if you wanted to store some things inside, a little bit more climate controlled. And we'll make our way upstairs to the additional bedrooms. This is a very pretty staircase. I like the metal balusters. <clears throat> You're probably going to want to change the carpeting, as I said, though. We get upstairs, and we have a second upstairs family living room. This is a very good size room. To the right, we come and we have bedroom number two. Bedroom number two actually has a little door for attic access. And this bedroom will need a fresh coat of paint and flooring. Now this bedroom has a Jack and Jill, or this side of the home has a Jack and Jill style setup, which means you have a sink here, and then you have access into your uh, commode and into your uh, bath. Now, directly across from that is where we have your closet for this bedroom, which is a really good sized closet. Now we come back out to the hallway where your big upstairs second family room is, we have bedroom number three. Bedroom number three has sort of the same setup. You have your closet on this side for this bedroom, which is a good sized closet. We have your sink for brushing teeth and washing hands. And then we have the center room here, which has the commode and then the shower and tub combo for this bedroom or bathroom rather. So that's pretty nice. That's I'm sure you guys probably know what a Jack and Jill style setup bathroom is. Now on the opposite side of the upstairs is where we have the additional bedrooms. So we have bedroom number four here. Bedroom number four is going to need a fresh coat of paint and some flooring. Bedroom number four has this walk-in closet here, and it's actually a very good sized closet. And then it has a full bath on this side of the home, which is a really good sized bathroom. You have ceramic tile on the floor. You have a large vanity, and then it's going to be a little dark on this side, guys, but we have your shower and tub combo in here, which is nice and neutral. So the bathrooms really, they have ceramic tile on the floor. I don't think the bathrooms need to have anything done on the flooring because I like that nice neutral color, but you definitely will want to put some painting on all of the interior home of the home and replace the carpeting because it's pretty bad. That is about it. As I said, it is about almost $20,000 underneath the county appraisal. It's even eligible for HUD's $100 down payment incentive. Let me give you a summary. Well, there you have it, 16319 Denise Terrace Drive. That's 16319 Denise Terrace Drive, a very big four bedroom, three and a half bath home. Almost $20,000 underneath the county appraisal, eligible for HUD's $100 down payment incentive and probably one of the best buys in the neighborhood. This home is listed right now for only $294,000. So if you're interested in this home or you have any questions, please call me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan, I am the HUD King, and I want to help you find your castle.